This is the first of two videos that show you how to create tilings of regular polygons on a flat surface on a, um, a plane. Um, we've opened GeoGebra and we need to first of all prepare GeoGebra by removing all the things we don't need. Yours might not look like this when you open but in case it does we'll get rid of this algebra window by clicking on the cross there to close it. Um, the input bar at the bottom we can get rid of by clicking view and then if you see input bar is selected so if we click on that it will deselect it and the bar disappears. Um, to get rid of the grid and the axes the quickest way is a right click and then you'll see axes comes up and a right click again and grid comes up and now we have a, a plain surface on which to work, an empty canvas. Uh, we're going to be using regular polygons so the important thing here is to use the correct tool. This is our polygon tool, so it's the fifth button along. Click on the small triangle in the bottom right corner and change it to regular polygon. That tool now creates a regular polygon. You can change the default um, features of the polygon here. We can change its color. I'm going to change mine so that um, by default they appear in uh, orange, I think. Um, and we can also change the transparency. Make sure you don't set it to 100% opaque. It's quite important for what comes up later to make sure you have a, a sort of clearer area in the middle of your rectangle. You can change the grid size here as well if you want to, but we'll work with what we've got for now. So um, we've got that to orange with um, a fairly transparent internal part of the rectangle. Okay, I'm going to use a tiling pattern that involves each vertex having uh, two squares one equilateral triangle and one regular hexagon but I'm not going to put the squares next to each other so as I go round the vertex it will be square triangle square hexagon. We'll start by just drawing one of those shapes so I'll click on my regular polygon shape and the easiest shape to draw is the square actually so I'll just click two points one there and one there um, and it asks me how many vertices, it will always default to four which is convenient so I'll just click on OK and there's my square to start with. I'm now going to build the other shapes that go next to it. So I want a triangle next to it here. So again, I'm on the regular polygon one. I don't need to keep selecting that tool. You'll see it's selected there. So I just need to click the two adjacent points on the square. I'll click one, two. It asks me how many vertices. This time I want three vertices because it's a triangle. And click OK and there's my triangle. I want a square next to that. So again, one, two and it defaults to 4 so I can just press enter or click OK and then I want a hexagon so again 1, 2 and 6 vertices for the hexagon and click OK and there's my hexagon so you can see I've got square, triangle, square, hexagon I've got my first vertex covered and I can carry on using those techniques to build the the tiling up and fill as much of this space as I want to now. So in here I have, if I look at this vertex, I already have a square and a hexagon, so I need another square here and I need another triangle here. So again I'll put my square in, one, two, and that's my square, and I'll put my triangle in. Now I'm going to do this um, deliberately the wrong way and uh, show you a potential problem. I'm going to click on that point and then that point and I want a triangle uh, and I click OK and as you can see the triangles appeared inside the square rather than in this space. That's because of the order in which I clicked these points. Now the easiest way to get rid of that is to go and undo. I can undo by either edit undo or you can see there's a keyboard shortcut control plus Z. Uh, if you're using a Mac it'll be command plus Z. So any of those will uh, get rid of that triangle and remove it. Uh, now I clicked that point and then that point so that was the wrong way so let me click those in the other order um, three vertices and my triangles now in the correct place um, you notice that I did that deliberately and made the mistake whereas the others I got correct so there is a, a correct order to collect click the points and that's to go anti-clockwise around the shape so if we look here we want a triangle in here if we look at the space we want the triangle and we move anti-clockwise around that space you can see my cursor is moving in an anti-clockwise direction around that space so then I'll click that point first and then that point three vertices and it will put the triangle in the right place again anti-clockwise around here go anti-clockwise it doesn't matter which two points I click I can click this one and this one I'm going in an anti-clockwise direction it puts the square in the right place 
uh, here we'll have another triangle um, again we want to go anti-clockwise you can see what happens so if I go clockwise so I'm going clockwise around the shape now and if I click the points in the clockwise direction three it puts the triangle in the wrong place so um, again edit and then sorry edit and then either control Z or a Mac command Z will get rid of that and then we can do it anti-clockwise and the triangle goes in the right place and then you just keep carrying on doing that until you've got enough shapes uh, to fill as much of the space as you want at the moment it doesn't look much like a pattern but we can keep extending it and fill more of this space you don't have to fill the the whole screen um, but you can do uh, as much as you like if at some point you realize you've made a mistake and you put the tilings in the wrong place and you want to remove one of the shapes and at any point you can go to this um, move tool the drag or select objects if you click on that it will allow us to select an object so say I think this triangle is incorrect I can now click on it um, and then I can either go to edit um, delete or I can just hit the delete key and it removes that triangle um, actually it wasn't a mistake so let's click on regular polygon and anti-clockwise direction three sides and put the triangle back that gives you all you need to know to create your tiling pattern once you've done it, have a look at video 2 and it will tell you how to improve the design of it and the, the appeal of it, visually, visual appeal of it, um, by colouring in all the shapes, the different shapes in different colours and removing these large dots at the corners of the shape. So that's on video 2.